The 90 Day Fiancé franchise demonstrated that international romances can be successful, although language barriers are difficult to overcome. Franchise fans have witnessed dozens of international couples dealing with language barriers, culture shock, and the challenges of massive moves. While most of the featured international partners had at least a basic understanding of English, not all 90 Day Fiancé cast members speak English. Cultural and language differences are two of the biggest issues that 90 Day Fiancé franchise couples deal with. Cast members who are rooted in traditional lifestyles are often upset when they discover that their partners are more free-spirited and liberal. Likewise, the inability to communicate without a translation app complicates conversations. Even worse, viewers have witnessed just how inaccurate some translation apps are. Dot overall, the four 90 Day Fiancé cast members have far more language skills than their American partners. Franchise fans have been critical about the American partner's overwhelming inability, or lack of desire, to learn the mother tongues of their spouses. However, a number of cast members from various countries also had limited English-speaking skills, although the franchise revolves around foreign fiancés or fiancés joining their significant others in the United States. Lana. Wealthy American David Murphy was notoriously obsessed with mysterious Ukrainian blonde beauty Lana on 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days. Perhaps it was fortunate that the couple spent the majority of their relationship online before TLC tracked down Lana because Lana did not speak English. At least that's what viewers thought since Lana never spoke a word of English while on Before the 90 Days. However, when she appeared on Cameo after the show, viewers later discovered that Lana speaks English quite well. Therefore, it appears that Lana was simply unwilling to communicate in English rather than unable to speak the language. However, Few fans blame her for being wary of obsessive David Da Jehoon Lee. South Korean man Jehoon Lee might split from American Devon Clegg, but his wildly inaccurate translation app is considered iconic among many franchise fans. Jehoon and Devon did not share a common language, which meant that they had to rely on his app for critical communication. Unfortunately, Jehoon's translation app often made arguments worse by providing bizarre translations that did not convey what he was trying to say. However, he has impressed viewers by significantly improving his English language skills over the past year. Karin Stell. American Paul Stell and his Brazilian partner Karin experienced overwhelming relationship issues during their marriage. One of their problems was their inability to communicate in a common language. Karine didn't speak English, which meant that she and Paul needed to use translation apps to talk to each other. Combined with their temperamental personalities and erratic and violent behavior, Paul and Karine's marriage was complicated by many roadblocks. The couple recently split for perhaps the final time, although Karin has been improving her English-speaking skills over the years after appearing in multiple franchise spin-off shows. Mersel Mistanoglu. Mersel Mistanoglu and Anna Campisi are a rare franchise duo that was able to overcome their language barriers. Few viewers thought that the 90 Day Fiancé season 7 couple would last since Turkish man Mersel barely spoke English and American mother Anna knew only a few words of his native language. However, Anna and Mersel overcame the stress of relying on translation apps for communication. The beekeepers run a joint business together, selling local honey and other natural products, 
while 90DF's Mercil just opened his own custom furniture store in the US. Zamina Morales Kuller. Zamina Morales Kuller was one of three cast members on Before the 90 Day Season 5, who turned to a translation app for communication. Zamina's Beyonce at the time, Mike Burke, was doing his best to learn the Colombian mother's native language, Spanish. However, Mike's Spanish speaking skills were limited. This led to Zamina and Mike turning to translation apps for communication. Zamina even broke up with Mike via translation app, although an incredulous Mike appeared convinced that the app had mistranslated her words. Zamina has no desire to learn English since she made it clear that she doesn't want to move to the United States. She is very happy living in Colombia with her sons. Motney Hamza. Motney Hamza also used a translation app during Before the 90 Day Season 5 to speak with his partner, Memphis Andeville. As a Tunisian man, Hamza speaks Arabic with a blend of French. While Memphis speaks not a word of his mother tongue, Hamza does have limited English speaking skills. However, the couple turned to translation apps for communication and also hired a translator for a critical conversation. Memphis also used a translator with Hamza's beloved mother, although Hamza's sister was able to provide some English translations for the couple. Hamza is likely improving his English skills since he made it to the United States with his wife. However, he was still provided with a translator at the Tell All. Mahogany Roca. Mahogany Roca is another before the 90 day season 5 cast member who used a translation app to speak with American, Ben Rathbun. However, Mahogany's usage of the translation app struck viewers as very strange since she speaks near perfect English. Mahogany switched from English to her native tongue of Spanish, although she sometimes acted like she didn't understand English. However, at other points, she was able to hold full conversations in English. Mahogany's use of a translation app and her overall grasp of languages left many viewers baffled. Dot Memphis Andeville and Rebecca Parrott. Dot both Michigan nurse practitioner Memphis and Georgia based general manager Rebecca Parrott are Americans. However, the two women have been widely slammed for their appalling English grammar and syntax. Memphis and Rebecca are both married to Tunisian men, Hamza and Zaid Hakimi, who are not fluent in English. Rather than teach their husbands proper English, Rebecca and Memphis frequently resort to toddler speak, often replacing, I with me. This led to them saying things such as me hungry or me tired, rather than communicating properly. Many 90 Day Fiancé fans were frustrated that two Americans were speaking such improper English. Just to check it.